this is going to be fun. Under the stairs, I've got to paint. And nothing's been moved. Which, it's not a problem, but it'll just take a little bit more time. So none of this is going to be going back in. Not today, I won't be putting this back in. Just get it painted. Not a lot to do. It's all been emulsioned. Got this side panel in. That's all emulsion paint. Only the shelves. Like I say, not that, none of that can go back in. I've vacuumed the carpet and I've got a sheet down. And when I start cleaning, what I will do is I'll put another sheet on top, a dirty sheet on top. And then once I've finished all the cleaning, I can lift that sheet up, leave this one here, and then I can just get my painting done. So luckily for me, I'm not going below that line. So all this will be getting boxed in. Which is going to save me quite a bit. I suppose at the end of the day, really, it's better being boxed in. Because to keep painting all that lot. Yeah, a bit futile. So, a bit grubby, but... Just got these bottles to shift now. So these look really interesting. Uh, there's an inkwell. A wooden pipe. Usually, you know, you know, usually see them in the clay, aren't they? Hmm. A minotaur. A club or something. Next that. Giant Oxygen Company. London. It's that Oxygen Tablets. Look at that. Weird stuff. That one's still got its cork in. Damaged. Mackie and Gladstone. Birkenhead and Liverpool Limited. That's heavy, that one. Oh, I was in that one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> That's fancy. I like that one. That's got a cork in it as well. Romford Chemical Works. Romford. Painted March the 10th, 1868. Oh, strange elixirs and potions. Hmm. Right, anyway, I'll carefully remove these. I think just two at a time. Now I've got my dirty sheet down. And I've been round doing any dusting. Vacuuming all the dust cobwebs away. A little bit of paint came off the plaster up there. And again, down in the corner there, a bit of diluted PVA on that, that'll be okay. But, the main problem is, I wanted to finish this today, I should still be able to. But, as I was vacuuming, plaster has come off, right back to the brickwork. So before I do any washing down or bleaching, I will get some hard stock mixed and get that in there. So that'll be drying. I want to get this finished today. It's only a, a you know, a space under the stairs. Oh, anyway, get that sorted out. Diluted PVA. While I'm here, I'll touch this up down here, and I'll go up there and do that, and I'll get some. Hard stop mixed. It's quite a stiff mix I've got here. 
I want this to go off relatively quick. So making sure that I get into all the edges first. I'm just going to use this small inch scraper just to push that in a bit. larger filling blade to start to bring it in filling just keep working that filler in Now, the damp cloth, wet your blade in, and then just smooth this off. Keeping pressure off this edge, putting the pressure on this back edge, just so you can feather that. Okay, we're good there. I can carry on wiping down and cleaning. I've washed down, ready for painting. Looking a little bit different. Quite a lot of muck come off there. So important you do this to save your paint getting dirty. So looking down here, this has only ever been painted part way. So this is actually emulsion paint. It's like a creamy yellow. It's not actually gloss paint. So, normally you would start up there, but no, I'm going to get a coat on this lot first.
to make sure that I can get this finished. If it needs a second coat, then I can do it. Also, these sills, mm. they've only been painted, well this one, has only been painted part way. The rest of them, see, so I'll get a primer on those, primer on the coat, and paint this lot before I go up there. Now this is the kit I'm using. I've got my two inch pure bristle brush and mini roller. Good roller then. Hold a lot of paint. And then this is what's going on. The Valspar silk. Which will just help keep this a bit cleaner. That's the end wall done. This piece. That's looking okay. Just brought it up to the ceiling line there. So these shelves, that back wall again, all of this has been done with the emulsion paint. So you can see I've started bringing it in with this silk. I'll do all the underneath of the shelves and the wall. And then this face and obviously the tops of the shelves, I'll be doing them gloss. I've got a bucket of water with me as well, and cloth, just for any mishaps, splashes. I'm just putting this on with the brush on the underneath, but the walls I will keep to the same texture. It's definitely going to go with warm this. I'm guessing that the pipe board will be coming up to here level. So I've done this little bit here and I'm just going to bring this in up here with this small brush. Just literally level with the edge of the casing of the boiler there. to go any further past there because when that piece of probably ply goes in it'll sit level with that that patch won't be dry enough paint over yet so all I've done is cut up to it cutting around and I'm just going to roll up to that just feather it off a little bit there and that can just be left to dry I'll carry on with the rest of it because this timber has been previously brush painted I'll keep the same texture and just roll this in. Okay, and then just lay off with the brush. Brilliant. That's all ceiling and walls done. It's looking a lot better. Just these shelves to sort out. But everything else is drying off. Freed up the shelves by doing all this. So once that paint's dry, I can get some undercoat on these. But for the time being, I've put my roller 
and my brushes into the pot there and I need to wipe this out and wash this out because this is silk I can't leave it in there I did think I was putting mat on but my customer decided on silk so that gets clean now warm soapy water stiff brush I'll just start to clean all this off It. Once been round and wiped it all down, just empty this away and just give it a wipe with a clean damp cloth. And now what I can do is I can turn this on the window. I'll have a butty now, just empty that away. It's dry enough now that I can start painting these shelves. So I've already keyed them down using the 180, fine 180. And this is what I'm using. Primer undercoat, Valspar, it's multi-surface interior and exterior. Again I've got a two inch brush just get these done. Two shelves are undercoated. Just need to do this bottom one. I've shut the window but I've left that boil on so getting some heat in here now, get the heat built up. As soon as I've finished undercoating this sill, I'll open that window again. primer on the coat so any burr edges won't be a problem wait for those to dry I get some gloss on them but now again triple vent and I can lock it the ground floor so secure leave that ready for a light sun down Dust off, I'm ready for painting. So I've got a bit of gloss in the bottom there, the two inch brush, pure bristle, and water based gloss. And yeah, you've guessed it, this is what it is the Valspar gloss. Okie doke, let's get some on. Glad that boil is in here because it's helped speed things up.
good there. That's all my painting done generally, apart from that bit down there. So I've got my mixing board which I've turned over. This is the back of the board. And I've got my roller and my brush again. So taking a dip, I can just bring this in. This is hard enough. It's well solid now that. say on the back of the board I can just put this out a bit. That's what I use it for. Get the same texture on this. I go bring it all in. It's looking a lot better. Look even better when all that piping gets boxed in. A lot cleaner, a lot brighter, and that's good.